Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my page. My name is Albert Gorman, and today I want to talk about how to secure a brand new client as a new freelancer. There's a lot of different ways to go about doing this, but I'm going to give you a few tips that has helped me on my journey, and hopefully it can help y'all. So sit back, enjoy, let's hit the intro, and let's get into it. Peace. Alright, so now let's get into this. One of the best ways to attract new clients is using your social media presence. A lot of us do have social media, so whether that's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, wherever you frequent the most, use that as a tool to build up a portfolio of your work. Put your best work on something like an Instagram where it showcases how you do your work and, and the results of your work. I like to use Instagram a lot because it gives you a lot of different ways to promote it actually. And um, with the photos and the video and the stories, it all gives you a different vibe to interact with your audience. And another tip when you're using your um, social media as your portfolio is to interact with your audience. So if somebody comments and they say something nice or even something critical, still reply and still let them know that you appreciate them to um, for input it onto your platform. Because at the end of the day, there's a million plus, should I say billions of different kind of accounts. So if somebody announces your account and they decide to even leave a comment, take that as a very positive thing and reply back to them. And the last thing I'll say about as far as social media to get new clients is find your best, the best post, whether it be a photo or a video. I prefer a video clip that's like 10 to 15 seconds long and it doesn't even have to have a lot of cuts in it. It could just be a straight shot and use that clip and promote it. Put hundreds of dollars actually into that one shot and promote it so it can get more exposure to people out there. Um, for example, if we're going to use wedding industry is you can get your best wedding photo and then gear it up to people or not even people, gear it up to women who are newly engaged from the age of 18 to 45 in the province of Ontario. So you're not just wasting your ad dollars to just any random person who sees your thing, which is cool too, but you're actually generating the leads for a potential client in a specific niche. And that's where we got to break it down. You know what I mean? So doing something like that will drive the conversion rate of your ad through the roof. If not through the roof, a big margin instead of it going to random people who might like your content, but at the same time, they're not the people who you want to actually come and give you income or come and pay on your services. So using your um, social media platform as your main portfolio and also still having a website, of course, but using social media because it's free is a good start for anybody new to the freelance world. All right, so number two on my list is pretty much using BTS footage, right? So either have somebody on your team or somebody close to you or even somebody on the set of the shoot and have them just record the behind the scenes footage of whatever you're doing, your setup, um, your actual shooting style, your post-production, whatever it is that you do to get your product out there, show your viewers and your potential clients your whole setup and not necessarily your whole setup but how you go about doing it and it's a nice connection when they sh when you show that side of you and not just showing the results because the results is cool and um obviously you're not just going to give every single sauce of your whole production of how you get it done but just li allowing people into the world of how you do it i think it just connects with your viewers and your potential clients and they get to see who's behind the person behind the lens and i think that's very important so that's number two for what i got for that so for the last one, I'll the tips real quick because I do got a photo shoot right now with a brand new client, which is crazy. So I just thought it would be a perfect time to do this is to actually do talking heads like I'm doing right now. Um, try to educate your viewers or your potential clients and um, just showcasing who you are, just you as a person and just talking to the camera. I think that gives you a lot of confidence because if you can talk to the camera like this, it practice it improves your way you can communicate with people when you get into the field of it. So I use this as a chance to kind of articulate myself a little bit better, get comfortable speaking. The more you talk it, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. So I just think for your own self, 
filming, doing a YouTube, doing a TikTok, or just kind of having some kind of talking head also helps provide value to your services and provide value to yourself, you know? Um, it's not always about investing in gear and stuff like that, but you gotta invest in yourself. And sometimes that's talking, that's emailing, that's just communication and learning new skill sets. So whatever you do, invest in yourself, but as a form of head talking, I think that's a new way for people to connect with yourself. So put it down in your portfolio, like I said in the tip number one, on your Instagram, or give that connection with your viewers and with your potential clients. So that's all I got for today. I do got to shoot uh, in about two hours, so I'm about to head out. I got my lens here. Um, I am using the a7 IV to film this video, and we got the FX30 to do a little bit behind the scenes. So what I just talked about is what I'm about to do, and hopefully it works out. And yeah, it's been working out so far. So peace out to y'all. Thank you so much for making it this far in my video. And I uh, truly appreciate it, man. I'm going to keep trying to knock these out. And y'all give me your feedback. Leave it in the comment section. Let me know what you guys do to get new clients. And I will do another video of this, maybe going into way more detail, like a 30-minute video of how I actually really get clients. But I want to make this one short and sweet and just give y'all some tips out there. So, all right? Go out there. Go grind, man. Go get your shit done, all right? Peace.